I use the term universal design intuition to refer to something that we all have from an early age, and it is this notion that the things that we look at when we look at the living world had to have been made by a godlike designer. And this is acknowledged that children, even children who are brought up in atheist households, have this basic intuition. They look at a butterfly, they think of it as something that had to have been made by a godlike designer. So that's the intuition. In the book, I try to unpack the intuition and put words to it and then decide whether the words are actually correct, whether the basic idea behind the intuition is correct. So the words I put to the universal design intuition are something like this. Tasks that we would need knowledge to accomplish are accomplished only by someone who has that knowledge. In other words, if we would need to learn how to do something, it's not going to happen by accident. That's the basic intuition. It turns out to be true and scientifically true. Early on in the book, I introduced something called oracle soup. And I introduced it as though it's a serious thing that was found by culinary scientists. They have something that looks very much like alphabet soup. It has little pasta letters and numbers that swirl around. But this is a special kind of soup. They have a large pot of it. You boil it up, you put a lid on it, you let it cool and you remove the lid and the letters and numbers are arranged to uh, spell out instructions, instructions for building something, something worthy of a patent. And if you want more instructions, you just put the lid back on, bring it to a boil again, let it cool and, and repeat. Now, obviously, as I tell about this, the reader knows right away this cannot be true. So I'm really making a point. How is it that we know that things like this can't be true, that instructions can't appear by accident? And that, of course, connects very much to our intuition that biological instructions can't have happened by accident. Mm -hmm.